Okay, so what we're going to be looking at is this MIT App Inventor. Uh, it's a great way to start out in mobile app development, so um, uh, you don't have the steep kind of learning curve as starting out with something like uh, Android Studio, where uh, yeah, it's a very complex bit of software. You need to be pretty proficient in Java programming and things like that. So um, this you do. This will help develop your programming skills, and we'll get to that kind of thing, but. Uh, it's a good way to start out if you've not done mobile app development before. All right, so that's why we're using it. So um, what we can see, I've started a new project. I've got all the bits and bits pieces that I can uh, add down the side there, and I've got the settings on this side and the um, interface in the middle. So um, up the top there, you can see I've got this label that says screen one. I don't want to have that. So just come down here and turn title visible off. What I do want though is uh, the title to my app at the top there um, and the app that we're going to be building is this um, uh, maths application I suppose for uh, something that's going to help children develop their math skills. Um, it's going to have like a <coughs> sort of a built-in calculator, uh, some quiz questions, uh, the ones that are on like timers and all sorts of things like that. Okay, so on the first page that opens with the application, I want the, the title to be at the top. So I'm going to bring in this thing called a uh, label. Now, when you add something, it, it jumps to the left-hand side. Uh, so what we want to do is want the width of it to be a fill parent. We'll take it to the full width of the screen. And then the text you can align to the center if you want. Make it a little bigger. Um, you only get four font types. Um, so if you want it to be something fancy, something different, then it may be that you can create uh, your title as an image in something like Photoshop um, and then bring it in separately. All right, so um, once we've got that, uh, I don't want it to say that, so text here you can change. Change that to math app or something. I'm sure you can think of a better name for yours. Uh, I can make it bold, change the background color, uh, change the text color, uh, you know, the, lots of things that you, I'm not too worried about what it looks like here. That's for you to do independently, but I'm just making it work. So there's our title. What we want under here next is a kind of calculator. So an input here and then so like input what number plus whatever number and then equals and then it'll give you a result. So what I want to do, I need to put in one of these layout options. I'm going to put in a horizontal arrangement um, as this is going to help um, keep all of my, um, whatever you call these, <laughs> in a horizontal line rather than being all underneath each other and stuff like that. So it gives us more control of the layout. So that will make more sense as I build it. So what I want to do, is I don't want a label because that's just going to say something. I need the user, user to be able to input something. So I'm going to put in a text box. My horizontal arrangement, I'm going to make the width of the full parent there. So you can see my text box there. It's a bit wide. So I'm going to change it. You can put in a certain value. I'm going to put in 60 pixels. That'll be fine. Next, what I want is a button. Um, and I'm going to put just a plus there for now. And what that will be is a button that will cycle between sort of plus, minus, times, divide, depending on what the user wants. Okay, so next to that I need another input. So another text box. And you can see when I drop them into the horizontal arrangement, it's all um, nice in this hierarchy section up here. Uh, 60 pixels as well. That's fine. And then I want it to read equals. That's never going to change. I can I can make that a label because it doesn't need to be changed or anything by the user. So uh, equals. And then what will come after that, I'm actually going to put a space there just because uh, the code is going to tell it to add in the answer uh, as part of this label next to equals. OK, so we want a space between it. That's fine. OK, so obviously it doesn't look very nice. So um, again, some things that you can do if you had horizontal arrangement, you can, uh, here we go, align things like center that alignment. So that's all nice and centered. 
Um, I kind of want to make this a bit bigger. About 30 as well. About 130. Make it bold. Again, colors and things um, all down to you, really. Um, I'll leave this just as that for now, but like the color schemes and everything that you've designed it, you can use all these settings to change your own. Okay, so what I then want underneath that is a, a sort of a calculate button. So what I could do, if I just put in a button like there, all right, it's gonna be right underneath here. And I want it to be right underneath. I want there to be some space in between. Okay, so again, what we can do is put, get our layout and go to horizontal arrangement, put it there. And you don't actually see this horizontal arrangement, that box there, you wouldn't see in the actual app. Okay, it's just to use to help the layout. So if I make that um, full width so I can see what's going on a bit better, this will be the distance between these two sort of elements of the app. <clears throat> so the height, you can choose your own. So if I just do like 100 pixels, Okay, apparently it is 100 pixels already. 50 pixels, um, and then there's a, a nice distance between that section and the button. I could also put another horizontal arrangement up there, actually, just to uh, put a bit more space between those elements as well. Okay, and remember, you won't see those. This stuff you will see. This stuff you won't. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So the button, um, again, it's over to the left. I want that to be in the middle. So again, what I'm going to need to do is put in another horizontal arrangement and put this inside that. Make this the full width. And then we can align that to the center. Okay. Change that to say calculate. And that's should be fine okay so again take some time making it look nice because <laughs> um, it look, this will look a bit rubbish um, if you want to test it you can already do that it's really nice and easy you just go up to pro not projects connect up here click AI companion and what you'll get is a, um, a little code but what I, you do need to download the app first the companion app to make to, to do the testing okay so if you search on play store or whatever for the mit app inventor companion app you can download that scan this qr code um, or put in the code itself and then you can test it on your own phones okay so it's an easy better way to test it than testing it uh, on here all right but obviously it's not, nothing's going to happen yet nothing's going to do anything what we will be doing is putting in the code to make this work in the next video. Okay.